All right, everybody, so welcome to this special episode. So I did have my Kessel on there, and then I got the new Psych or Noopsies right there. And activation mode. All right, so what we're going to do is, uh, I don't know if I'm going to do it right now, right now, or just do it, or just do a few at a time. But I do want to transfer the corals over here, but what, we're, what I'm going to do is kind of map out what I want. I'm not sure about that Kenya tree, though, but fuck it. It's going to be in there. Uh, I, I'm just scared that it's going to start sprouting babies everywhere, which it is. Uh, I got to figure something out. Or I might just try to clip it off, just fucking straight up. Go in there and fucking uh, snip snip the fucking rock out. Just the base of the rock, you know what I mean? Go around it. Not, not the coral, just the rock. And get it out, you know what I mean? But the goal of today is, like I said... If, Try to map out where I'm going to have all my corals and all that. And if you look carefully, the sand's starting to blow out. But I really wanted to show you guys the progress right here. Let me get you guys close up. Alright, so you guys remember when I seeded the tank with the sand that I got from Pet Shop Santa Cruz in the in the Bay Area? Or it might be considered a Monterey County. I don't know what the fuck. I just call it the Bay Area. It's the same shit. But you can see all the little worms that were building the little tunnels I was telling you guys about. So this is a real live sand bed right there. See that? So the worms are starting to grow right there. So I know I definitely don't want to take this rock out. So I got two options. I could throw either... Uh, I could start throwing some... Uh, what do you call it? Oh, you know what? Let me put it back how it was. I could start throwing in some uh, heavier chunks of... Uh, gravel right on top of the sugar fine sand I see how it's all blowing and we could do or we could do my method is let it do its thing this sand's gonna be blown <laughs> that's what she said she's gonna blow me uh, it's gonna go all the way from right here all the way over here to on this corner usually the sand will accumulate right oh shit you can't see it oh, there you go cut, I cut the glare you can't see it because of the, the or the water pump. You see where it, it's spinning. Usually the sand will start collecting there. Um, I could move physically move the sand and help it out, but I just wanted it to naturally just go where I know it's gonna go. Um, you get what I mean? And just let it do its thing. And then I could also gravel vac and take out the lighter particles, or I could just try to probably put the net right on top right here so any particle that keeps blowing out um i'm gonna take it it's gonna be taken out and then all the heavier sand the heavier sugar fine sand it's just gonna stay constantly uh in the bottom but you can see all the even some of the worms right here see that but you can see all the tunnels that they've been building and like i said i only seeded it and like i said it's a premature uh live sand bed this is a real live sand bed it's only seeded but it's not fully fully live but it is seeded so it is live um, so that's what you want when you want when you have a real live sand bed all right guys so the experiment on here is working so one thing I could do is remove all the sand and then throw it over here and make this a live sand bed but we're not gonna do that shit um, this is my tank right here and I want my sand to go all the way over there with all the life in it so I want the life to accumulate over here and then we have the SPS corals over here even if it's bare bottom just have them right here I don't care if they're in this um, in the bottom of the glass right there it's gonna be a thin layer of sand right there always cuz it's never gonna be perfect cuz even over here you see there's a thin layer it's just gravity baby gravity gravity is my best friend right here you know what I mean make gravity work for you um, all you fuckers try to go against mother nature and I don't know she's always whooping your ass right I know cuz I always got my ass whooped um, so just work with Mother Nature, guys, and you should be good. This sponge is unnecessary. This is a, an enemy sponge. I might leave it in there. I might not. I'm not too sure. I might leave it in there, see if any particles of sand get accumulate there, but I don't see shit, honestly. Uh, I am worried about the algae that are going to be growing in here. I'm mostly worried about the dinos. I, I doubt there's any, but if there is, it doesn't matter because like I said I'm put a big cleanup crew 
but that's the idea right here but this is my tank right here guys so next question up <clears throat> am I gonna use a Kessel or go with this brand the new psych what do you guys recommend I just want to see my elites or people that think more like me what do you guys think and see we come to the same conclusions but remember guys all these corals are going to be moved over here and maybe not this guy I'm not going to move this guy I'll probably just leave this guy in there you know what I mean uh, but that's the plan Now we just gotta figure out where I'm gonna move where. You know what I mean? Uh, but first, we're just gonna, like I said, we're just gonna let the sand do its thing. Oh, another thing I wanted to test, test out is the, the wave action. We're gonna test out the wave action, guys. If we get wave action instead of this fucking uh, speed up, slow down bullshit, we're gonna do that. So let me change the settings on my thing real quick. Bam, look at this guys. I put it in the fastest pulsing action. You see that? It's this one right here. And this one's on its lowest actually. I'm gonna I'm gonna pick up that one. But you see this guy? At its fastest action, I think it's blowing a lot less sand everywhere. You see that? And it's giving me the type of water flow I want. And like I said, I can still mess with it. But you see the sand's not being blown around as bad, so I think I'm loving this. I'm, I think I really love this uh, wave action right here. And like I said, I get the benefit of having a wave motion. So it, it, so what's happening right here, guys, it's, it's pulsating. You see that? It just keeps pulsating at, at its fastest uh, ramp and everything. Oh yeah, I definitely love it. I definitely love it. In comparison, let me show you the wave action of the other one. So that's the fastest wave action on this guy. And it's perfect for SPS Coral. I think putting that guy over here, even at its lowest settings, is way overkill. Um, I think this is overkill already. But you see this is on its uh, lowest settings. In terms of its, it's the same settings in terms of its wave motion. Hold on, let me get you close up. All right, so you see right here, this one is a little little tank and it's going all the way to its fullest. This little guy, it's only going that much. But watch, let me change the settings on this guy so you can see what I mean. Watch, now it's at its full full blown motion. Now look at that, let's compare it. Now look at the wave, wave action now. See what I mean? Even at its lowest settings, this this big pump is way overkill for this one. You see that? And I like how this one doesn't really move too much of the sand. You see that? It just almost like a perfect, perfect little wave action. So that means, guys, we should be able to keep the SPS corals. And I hope you guys join in. All right. Much love. I appreciate you guys. So now we're just gonna decide where we want all the corals. All right. I have no clue. Um, I don't know what's gonna live or not. Uh, so oh, I think I want the Garf bonsai actually right here, front and center. What do you guys think? Front and center Garf bonsai. I don't know. I'm gonna map it, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys and talk to you guys about it. All right. I might find if I find my China marker, I'm gonna start scribbling on the tank, try to figure out an artistic. Uh, thing that I want going all right so much love everybody and I'll see you guys shortly all right adios <laughs>